Grand Rising, Grand Rising. I just wanted to talk about natural hair. I've been natural for about 15 years. And right now I'm sun drying my hair. I um, took my locks and twisted them together, braided them together, and then twisted them up in, you know, like a curl type of pattern. Let me see how good this works. I'm sun drying the back. The back was still kind of wet. Um, what I learned was the key, the key to um, getting your hair to dry like this, air dry, because I don't apply heat to my hair, um, is to let the sun dry it. I wrapped it overnight like this. I um, used conditioner and t twist and lock gel which gives it moisture so the curls can set overnight. But I'm sun drying the back right this second. We'll see how that turns out. I'm gonna put you guys down that way I can take it out and sit you guys right here. It shouldn't move, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, it's nice weather so I'm gonna start in the back and just shake that loose. Let me see how this turned out. This is my first, um, braid out twist out whatever you want to call it i've always wanted to curl my locks oh i've been growing my locks for it's been about two years now well yeah been about two years september september october this year will be two years um this is my second set of locks my first set i had for five and a half years um, I started them myself, myself and my daughter. She was about four years old. And I think I cut those out in about 2009. So, and then I just stayed natural over the years from that point. I should have started some of this already before I got on here, but it's all right. Somebody will watch me. Somebody who was curious, especially if you have my length. But yeah, so maybe if I get a little closer, you can see that I braided some of them together. And right now I'm just taking some of that loose. Like I said, I braided it overnight with some lock and twist conditioner. Um, well, I had that by Cantu. But most of the time, um, products I use in my hair are um, argan oil or like shea butter and hemp oil mix. I made like a little concoction of that. But yeah, so I just wanted to try something different with my hair. Oh, if anybody's wondering, um, this is a sweat belt that I'm wearing. Um, I typically do a lot of walking, but um, since I stopped, I put on a few pounds, of course. I can't say they're looking too bad, but I don't know. I want to get this up off me, all this extra. Especially just swim down in my midsection. Let's see. 
Yeah, I especially when I slim down in the mid area. So that's why I have this on. I like the way it looks so far. So far. Okay. So sit here. And then let's see what I got over here. Um, I like hair jewelry. Um, that's why you see that there. Um, I think those are cute. I like to try different things with my hair. Let me just show you what I'm doing. That's the purpose of the video, right? <laughs> yeah, I have some pretty huge braids. I and mean, you can see the size of my locks. Um, they're not so huge. So I could do like four or five in a braid at a time. So that's what I did. And then I'm just gonna style as I feel desired, you know, like how I want them to sit. Like see, I have some going down this way. I want those to stay like that. And then I want these, you know, going this way. That way you see the desired um, effect I was going for. Let me just sit y'all just like this, just a little better. But yeah, but at the same time, I'm sitting in the sun, so that's also good for our hair. That's the natural type of heat. And the sun, I've noticed, also colors my hair. Dyes, you know, my hair changes colors. See, this is, like I said, about the size of the jumbo braids that I set overnight and wrapped up. This is my first uh, video. And my first time trying to style my own hair. Yep, so that's how some of it is looking so far. I like it. Even if I just left the rest like it was, it's still, I think it's still cute. But I want to see exactly how it all turned out. And I definitely want to separate them, all the braids, all the way down because you don't want your locks growing together, sticking together. Um, sometimes I have problems with that. 
but I just typically use a standard um, detangler. I spray that on my hair at the roots all throughout my hair. That way, when I get to some that I need to pull apart, um, you know, that it's not like tearing and ripping my hair. Hair is fragile, so, and healthy hair is important. Just because you have locks um, doesn't mean your hair is not healthy. Scalp health is definitely um, something I'm into, so I'm careful about what I use, careful about what I eat, all these things, and drink, all these things attribute to, you know, what your hair, your nails, um, these are my real nails, um, yes, they are all that long. Um, I'm careful about what I eat. I take biotin, turmeric, um, black seed oil, hemp. So a lot of these things attribute to your hair health as well. Biotin is good for hair and nails. If you didn't know that. And I just love being natural. I taught it to my daughter. Um, she hated it at first. A lot of people, when they start out initially, they um, don't like it. They don't like the phase they have to go through having natural hair and not having straight hair. And then a lot of people don't realize that even if you made a decision to go to a lock style or sister lock style or, you know, goddess braid style, you um, you can still do a lot of things with that. I've had faux locks on top of my locks when I was in my short phase. A lot of people, that's the phase they hate the short phase um, where your locks aren't long, like probably, I guess, my length. And some people don't even like it my length. But um, mines are just steadily growing. And like I said, I started them myself. It doesn't take much. Um, I do not use beeswax in my hair. That stuff doesn't come out. Like I said, I use oils, um, some natural pomades. And I do a lot of conditioning leave in and rinse out I hardly wash my hair um, I feel like you only need to wash your hair um, on a more consistent or often basis if your hair stinks or smells or something like that but and also I realized that um, a lot of people hair textures aren't uh, kind with locks or oh, it takes them longer to achieve the permanent setting of their locks um that is true in some people some you know it depends on how the texture of your hair my hair is um on a natural basis without um locks in it is a, like a coarse I have really thick hair, but uh, I've always been told I have really thick hair, but a good grade of hair. So my hair is perfect for locks. Let me put it in the sun so you can see it really good. So you see, this was a desired um, effect of the braid out slash twist out. And I'm still not done because I feel two more braids back there. But yes, this was the desired effect. I 
she has some more braids. That is cool. This was the achievement. All right. Well, I'm Miss V, and I wanted to do this post about natural hair, and I have locks. So there you go. There's my braid slash twist out and style the way that I want it. I want it apart here, and then this coming down. And then, you know, how it is at the top. Oh, there we go. That's pretty. See? I like how they came out. All right. Well, there you go. There's an idea that you can do um, with your locks. Is there my link. You can do a braid out, twist out, and rock that. I've already been asked. Um, without doing this part, you know, the curling part, um, if I had gotten my hair done, mm -mm, no, nope. I just did some retwisting um, while putting in conditioner and then braided it all together to achieve the braid out, twist out. It was my first time. Um, like I said, I've grown my locks for about two, almost two years. All right, you guys. Check back with me for another video um, of an adventure, something new that I'm trying with my locks. Thank you for watching.